I've been seeing it all over Twitter. People wanting to discredit this year's championship, pin it with an asterisk, and saying it's just some Mickey Mouse ring. This is not only being pushed by casuals, but notable Twitter accounts and writers at ESPN. Though this was a constant sentiment, constantly spewed by a smaller group of people throughout the season, what triggered the massive push was the news that Chris Paul contracted COVID-19 before the Western Conference Finals, followed by Kawhi Leonard being ruled out of the remainder of the NBA playoffs due to an injury to the ACL. These two aren't the only players to succumb to injuries and illnesses these playoffs. Kyrie Irving just went down with a sprained ankle. Joel Embiid is playing with a torn meniscus. AD, LeBron, and Harden came into these playoffs hobbled. These are superstars going down, but these injuries are not just limited to them. Role players and pivotal pieces have been dropping like flies. The quality of basketball has suffered with these high level talents out. And it's seeming more and more like the team that is going to walk away with the chip is the team that is most intact when it's all said and done. So does that mean this season's championship should have an asterisk on it? No! 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 This season has been one of the hardest in recent memories and it seems fans have forgotten what these players have had to endure this season. We are talking the shortest turnaround in NBA history, 71 days, just a little over 2 months to not only prepare yourself for the 2021 season, but rest and nurse their injuries. There's a reason why the teams that made it the furthest last season crashed out of the playoffs this year. The Heat, Celtics, Nuggets and Lakers all made the conference finals last year, but this year were all bounced out the first round, with the exception of the Nuggets getting swept in the second round. These teams were battered and bruised throughout the season, never able to get healthy and weren't really given any recovery time. They had it the hardest this season. The odds were stacked against them. But with that being said, the rest of the league didn't have a cakewalk either. They had to endure a 72 game season with an all-star game in 5 months. What's worse is you didn't know if you are going to be playing that game on that scheduled day or not. There was so much uncertainty with the schedule, with COVID-19 running rampant. More often than not, games had to be rescheduled or players had to be pulled and isolated from the world for a substantial amount of time. This obviously affected team chemistry and the rhythm of players. When you contract COVID, you are not allowed to work out. Imagine, while you are in the middle of a season, you have to stop working out and when you recover, you get thrusted back into the rotation, expected to be in game shape. That is very draining on the body and very difficult to do. Players even talked about how crazy the schedule has been. They have seen many back to backs and seem to always be traveling. Worse is the later half of the schedule has been more brutal because of the number of games needed to be rescheduled and fit in. This season by far has been the most grueling and mentally exhausting of any seasons past. Players have had to deal with ridiculous traveling schedules, a compact schedule and have not had the luxury to take a load off due to the strict COVID rules that state players may not attend any leisurely activity or they will face fines and slash or suspensions. Players this season also had far more responsibilities than season past. They had to go through COVID testing daily and were asked to be pillars within their communities. With recent events that occurred in the world from BLM, the pandemic, to what's happening in Palestine, people are looking more and more to players to aid them. NBA players of the past were never held in this limelight to be a social activist. Today's age is totally different. We ought to commend these players and teams with what they are doing and how difficult the journey has been. It's downright disrespectful to discredit a championship just because you feel as though it was an easy path when in reality, it was one of the most difficult paths in NBA history. If you're still not convinced, what I just loosely highlighted is just a general struggle that all teams went through. But every team went through their own problems. The Utah Jazz for example, almost died this season. I'm not exaggerating. Their engine literally imploded while in the sky. Scary stuff. So it's clear this season was not the kindest to our NBA teams and really put them through the ringer. So to say the title wasn't earned after all this because of the unfortunate injuries and a shortened season is ridiculous. But if you're still not convinced, let me take you down memory lane. 
The 2019 championship won by the Toronto Raptors had a massive injury play a part, with Kevin Durant unable to suit up for majority of the series. The Raptors were able to put them away in 6. Does it make sense to put an asterisk on this title? How about this one? In 2018, when the Warriors won, the Houston Rockets had the Warriors on the road, leading them 3-2 before Chris Paul injured his hamstring and was forced to miss game 6 and 7. There's countless examples of this just in this decade. In 2017, we had the Zaza incident, and in 2015, we had Kyrie and Kevin Love going down. Should we put asterisks on all these titles? No. Injuries are simply part of the game. They have always played a role in the result, sometimes more than others. That's why it's always said you need some amount of luck to win an NBA title. This title is more than a legit title. It had a grueling and mentally exhausting regular season, coupled with a very competitive playoffs. Nothing came easy to any team. It deserves no asterisk. This is Earn Your Ranks, where we only talk about ball. Signing off.